It's the month of Elul, and the Yamim Noraim, the High Holy Days, are approaching. What do you do to prepare yourself? Here's a little bit of what I do to prepare myself both vocally and spiritually. First, I try to simulate the conditions of the various services that I'll be leading. So, I practice Kol Nidre materials on a full stomach, and I practice Ni'ilah on an empty stomach. It's the best that I can do to approximate the way that the exertions of Yom Kippur feel. But spiritually, I have some games that I play with myself in order to try to keep the raw emotions inside me and let them out only on the bima. So I never rehearse Kol Nidre with the choir before I sing it that night. The choir has to rehearse it. They need to go over the harmonies and make sure that the dramatic impact is right. But for me, I need to feel it as a visceral, spontaneous, first time of the year that I sing it through when I do it on the night. I do the same thing for the Kaddish before Musaf and the same thing before Hinini, the cantor's prayer that I sing while walking down the aisle on Rosh Hashanah on the first day. What do you do to prepare? Do you take out the Shar Kor and Machsor, leaf through its pages and try to find some of your most meaningful selections? Do you go over memories of preparing yourself, maybe as a kid, to go to synagogue with your parents, grandparents? Do you imagine what it will feel like to hopefully be back in the sanctuary after a year's absence, and in this case, two years? Whatever you do, however you prepare yourself, it's so important that you do so to get the most out of this year's High Holy Days. May this year and every year we all be inscribed in the Book of Life for a healthy year to come. And let us all say, Amen. Shana Tova. Tkia.